Fragrance is such an intimate personal choice, and selecting a scent for yourself or as a gift can be a challenge. So trend watch when shopping with one very knowledgeable fragrance expert to find the perfect scent for three New York ladies. At Sephora on Fifth Avenue, we met up with three young women who needed a little olfactory help in selecting a new fragrance. Enter Chandler Burr, who is the perfume critic of Tea Style for the New York Times Style Magazine. Perfume is the art that speaks to the sense of smell. That art is an art just like sculpture, painting, cuisine, music. And these artistic fragrances can say more about a woman's personality than any other accessory. But finding that signature scent can be tough. Lauren is actually looking for a fragrance for her mom for Mother's Day. My mom actually doesn't really wear a lot of perfume, so I would love to find something that she kind of feels comfortable wearing every day. This is Delice du Quartier, and smell it first and I'll tell you a little bit about it. This is a cherry, yeah. sort of a gourmand. I like it a lot, actually. It's great. Chandler then suggests 212 from the Carolina Herrera collection. It's sweet, and it's got a sort of a modernist, contemporary, linear aspect to it. I like it. It's a little sweet. And finally, one that just might work for Lauren's mom. This is the Juicy. I think this is a very surprising perfume. You smell that. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I like it a lot. This is actually rather elegant. Mm -hmm. Classic. It's sort of an abstract floral. Gwen is also looking for a scent for her mother. My mother wears this perfume. I think it's time for her to change her scent. But this is also the perfect opportunity to find a new fragrance for herself. Right now I wear Jo Malone Verbena. Yeah. And I also do Stella McCartney. The first is a green fresh. The second is a rose, sort of a darker scent. They're both surprised to learn cherry is a possibility. I like that. Yeah, I kind of liked it too. I actually think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you some masculines, all okay. right? Because I don't believe in gendering masculine right. and feminine. And okay. there's some things that you might like. So okay. let's go. Let's try the Masaki. Licorice. Yeah, and yeah. What do you think? I could actually see a woman wearing this more than a man, though. It was very interesting when he brought me over to the masculine side. I would have never, ever thought to think about wearing a masculine scent. And for Cece, she's drawn to more floral, flirty scents. I don't really go outside of the box. I've been wearing the same perfume now for six years, I'm embarrassed to say. Let's try. Let's try some things, all right? Let's try Vanille Sauvage de Madagascar. What do you think? Way too much vanilla. This is made by a perfumer named Jean-Claude Elena, and this is called Eau Parfumée. Oh, I love Etévin. this. Now, have you smelled this before? Yes, it reminds me of a hotel in Washington, D.C., actually. He then tries Carolina Herrera. I love that scent. Do you really? Yes. And that surprises me. I wouldn't think that you would like this. I think it's scent association because my best friend in high school wore this perfume, who I adore. This I can smell every day and not get bored of it. Perfume is going to communicate more and more deeply and more about you in an instant to another person than you could possibly do with any other accessory.